I am out and about and I wanted to chat with you guys so I am on my way to the grocery store what I wanted to chat about is that I have this project that I want to do I actually want to make a jumpsuit and I want to make it out of denim I think that that will be so so cute so I am planning to buy some fabric and then I want to tell you all about the, the, the experiment that I'm going to do and walk you through the whole process. So I'm excited as I always am and we're going to go through this process together and see if it works. And if you don't mind, I am going to take you with me to the grocery store and I am craving a smoothie. But I really like strawberry and watermelon smoothies. I love when you mix those two things together. It is just so good. And so that's what I'm going to get from the grocery store. So I'm going to take you with me. So let me get off of this video so I can pay attention to the road. And then I will come back when I'm at the store. So I am going to Sprouts. I like Sprouts. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys my favorite um, potato chips, just in case you wanna try them out. Really busy today, I don't know why. Okay, let me try and find a potato chip out. Okay, here it is. Let me show you guys these chips I like. Oh man, they're all out. Oh no, they're not, okay. These right here, malt and vinegar, malt vinegar and sea salt by Boulder Canyon. These are so good, you guys. I love these. They're usually two for five and I usually get two, but I'm not gonna do it today. I'm gonna be good today and I'm gonna get watermelon. And what else did I say? Strawberries, that's right. How could I forget watermelon and strawberries? Okay, let me go. I'm trying not to go down aisles where there is where there are other people because I know we're supposed to be doing this social distancing. It's hard to avoid always, but I try to do my best. Okay, so let's see. Look at the produce. Where are the stra oh there are the strawberries. I see you. Let me grab some strawberries. I don't use the whole thing of strawberries in my smoothies. I'll just grab a handful here and there. So I might just get a little one. Yeah, I'll just get a little one. And then I also like to use the rest with whipped cream. So I'll just dip it in there and have some whipped cream and strawberries sometimes for a little snack. Okay. So for watermelon, I like the little ones. Sometimes they have those little baby ones yeah here they are there's the big ones but the little baby ones are on the side so let me grab that too okay so let's see i don't know how to pick them look people are knocking on them i don't really know how to do that so all i'm all i know is i want one that's seedless so yeah this is seedless it says mini but it's kind of big for a mini isn't it but i'm gonna get this one anyway all right i got this Got my watermelon. I'm about to check out. Look how long the line is. All of them are kind of this way. They go all the way to the back. I mean, I know we're social distancing, but they're kind of lengthy. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Thank you. All right. I'm back to the car, or I'm on my way back to the car. And then I'm going to go home and tell you all about this sewing make. And I purchased this denim fabric. It has a little stretch to it. I want to make a jumpsuit, but I want the denim to be a little bit lighter. So my plan is to make the jumpsuit and then dye the fabric. So this is the before color. So I wanted you all to see that in the sunlight. And then we're going to just see if this will little project will work out okay so i sewed up the jumpsuit and it does call for this trim to go around the neck line or the neck edge and you tie it in the back so i'm going to go ahead and dye this whole garment so i'm going to go put it in 
the bathtub with some bleach and some water. What's interesting is this ribbon is 100% polyester. And of course the denim is, is cotton and it does have a little stretch. So I don't know how this ribbon is going to take to the bleach and water, but we'll see. So I don't know if this is gonna get light and this will get light equally, but we're gonna find out. Okay, so this is what we have. The jumpsuit is in the bathtub. I'm going to set the timer for one hour and then I'm gonna come and flip it over because I can see some parts are not fully submerged. So I'm gonna flip it over and make sure the other side or make sure both sides are, um, you know, have a chance to sit in the water for at least an hour. So yes, I'm excited to see what this is going to turn into. This is so fun. So the timer has gone off. It doesn't look like the um, jumpsuit has lightened at all, but I'm gonna keep going forward. What I'm gonna do now is just flip it over and then I will come back. Okay, so I flipped it over and on the opposite side, it looks like it is kind of getting light a little bit. I wanted to show you. So yeah, this is the back side. So we are going to let this submerge. I have on my pajamas. We're gonna let this submerge and see what happens. And I will come back shortly. Timer went off, I flipped it over again, and I'm gonna give it one more hour because it doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot. So I'm gonna give it one more hour and then I'm gonna wash it, okay? Okay, so time is up and I brought a bucket. I'm going to wring this out, put it in the bucket, take it downstairs and wash it. Okay, so I have finished my project and I have it with me and it actually worked. So I was concerned because I don't know what I expected, but I, for some reason I was thinking that it wasn't getting light, but it was. And so anyway, this is the finished garment and you could tell it's a little bit lighter than when, it, when I first started. And what I'll probably do is try to put a before and after picture just so you can really see the difference. But yes, I am really happy. So let me tell you about this make. This is, and I have my clipboard in front of me. So this is McCall 7598 and I made view D. And it is a wide legged jumpsuit, one piece. And it's only four pieces. It wasn't very hard to put together at all. It does call for trim to go around the armhole and also around the front neck. I decided to leave the trim off of the armhole edge, but I did go ahead and add the trim to the front, which I did share before. And the trim to me did not get lighter at all. So the trim pretty much stayed the same as far as I could tell. So yeah, it's okay though, but I do kind of wish that I had like a denim trim. I think that that would, would have looked really nice, but it's okay, I like it and I will wear it. So what else? The pattern does call for elastic to go around the leg openings, which I did go ahead and do. And the other changes that I made aside from putting the trim around the, or not putting the trim around the armhole opening, the trim is that I use is actually a ribbon. So I just grabbed a ribbon because I couldn't find the exact width that the pattern called for in a trim that I liked. And the pattern called for three fourths of an inch wide trim and I just used five eighths of an inch ribbon. And it worked out fine. And let's see, I did go ahead and have to just put a little tie at the end to create like a little knot to close the ribbon off. So I did that. The other thing that I did was I added a back pocket. So I just took a pocket off of a pair of jeans that I have and I just stitched it down to the back and I really like it. And I only did it on one leg so you will get to see what it looks like on. Okay, so the next make that I wanna share is actually this top that I'm wearing. Now this is Berta 6313, I made view B. 
and this is actually a scrap buster so every little piece that I use for this garment is scraps the front and the back yoke is lined and I did use scraps for that also and there is trim that is added to this little sleeve section here so the pattern gives you this little piece and then you add the trim around there and then you add trim around the bottom hem area of the top so let me show you what it looks like so I like it oh let me see if you let me show you what it looks like up here it's just denim and then in the back it's gingham I love gingham it reminds me of like a little baby doll top I just really like this top so um, let's see some of the ch changes that I made I used a one and a half inch wide trim so it's actually really wider than it looks on the picture I mean like my ruffles came out wider and I think it's because of the trim that I used and so yeah it also is the same trim that I used around the bottom so it gives it more of a trim or a wider trim than what it looks like on the pattern envelope and I'm okay with that and I did not add thread loops to the back so in the back there is a slit at the top neck opening and I did not for some reason I did not cut my slit open long enough so it's really shallow and it's actually hard to get the top on I have to really pull hard to get my head through the hole <laughs> and I did not add a thread loop to the back to close it but the pattern does recommend that you put a thread loop at the top of the slit to close it off but I didn't do that because my slit is already really really small and I just didn't add the thread loop so that's okay and if I have my hair down it'll probably cover it up anyway so that is fine with me so I will go ahead and show you what the jumpsuit looks like on and then I will come back and leave you with a love share So that's my jumpsuit and I love it I'm so happy with the color from beginning or where I started before where it was a little darker I am really happy with the end results so I think I will wear this jumpsuit quite a bit and I can wear it with tennis or sandals so I love that all right so before I go my love share is it is against the law in San Francisco to feed pigeons on the street or on sidewalks probably illegal just to feed them period I would assume but yes I wanted to share that because I thought that was very very interesting so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back next time if you enjoyed this video I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below